Welcome back. Problem 1-20. So statement is determined the resultant internal loading acting on cross section through point D. Assume the reaction at support A and B are vertical. So you can see this is a simply supported beam having support at point A and B and there is a uniformly decreasing load from A to D and then uniformly increasing load from A to B. That is 6 kip per feet each. So you have to find the internal loading at point D means that ND, VD and MD. So let's start with the solution. So it is given that sub, uh, reaction at point A and B are vertical. So if you remove this support at point A, so you will be having a reaction force that this is RA. And if you remove this support, so we will be having a reaction force at RB and you can see that there is this six kip per feet load that is acting over a distance of six feet from this end so this is a triangular load you can see this is a triangular load so if you convert this into a point load so that will be equal to one by two area under this curve that is one by two this is a triangular so one by two six multiplied by the total length which is 6 and that will be acting at a L by 3 from this denser side so L is 6 so 6 by 3 is equal to 2 feet same is the case with this so if you convert this uniformly increasing load from D to B and convert it into point load so this will be equal to 1 over 2 6 into total length which is 6 feet and that will be acting at a distance of two feet from point B or this denser side. Now we will apply equilibrium condition to find this unknown reaction forces. The first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So first moment about point B is uh, this force. Let me show you first moment about point B is this force which is 1 over 2 6 multiplied by 6 and that is acting 2 feet and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write it 1 over 2 6 multiplied by 6 and that is acting at a distance of 2 feet the second moment is due to this load which is 1 over 2 6 multiplied by 6 and this perpendicular distance is 10 feet you can see 6 plus this 1 plus 3 will give you 6 and this is also producing counterclockwise so it will be positive so 1 over 2 6 multiplied by 6 and perpendicular distance is 10 the third moment is due to this r a and perpendicular distance is this 12 feet and this is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so minus 12 into R A is equal to 0. So when you solve this, you will get R A will be equal to 18 K. Now you can find R B by using another equilibrium condition and that is sum of all forces along Y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see R A which is plus 18 minus this minus this plus rb is equal to zero so i will write it 18 minus 1 over 2 6 multiplied by 6 minus 1 over 2 6 multiplied by 6 plus rb is equal to zero so 18 minus 18 minus 18 plus rb is equal to zero so you will get rb is equal to plus 18 kips okay now you have both this ra and rb so what if you cut the beam at point d and draw the free body diagram so let me draw it first here you have ra which is equal to 18 kips and then you have a uniformly distributed load from A to D so when you cut this beam so you will be having 
uh, horizontal reaction force which is represented as nd you will be having a vertical shear force which is equal to vd and you will be having a moment which is equal to md okay so this load is six kip per feet so if you convert it into a point load so this will be equal to 1 over 2 into 6 multiplied by this total length is 6 feet so this length is 6 feet and that will be acting at a length of l by 3 so l is 6 so 6 by 3 is 2 feet from this denser side okay from this denser side okay now we will apply the equilibrium condition what will be the equilibrium condition that first equilibrium condition is the sum of all force along horizontal direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so there is only one force in a horizontal direction nd and there is no other force so it means that nd is equal to zero the second equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force upward taken as positive so you can see there are three forces one is this r a the second one is one over two into six and the length is again here i haven't mentioned the length is also six so this force and third one is this vertical shear force so i will write 18 minus one over two into six multiplied by six minus this vd which is equal to their sum must be equal to zero so when you solve this you will get vd is equal to also zero okay now the last thing is that sum of all moment about point d must be equal to zero and force and moment counterclockwise taken as positive so about point d is one moment is uh, this md which is counterclockwise so it will be positive the second moment is this one over two six multiplied by six and perpendicular distance is four feet clear uh, uh, one thing is that uh, the about point d is equal to zero so i will write md which is positive minus 18 into minus 1 over 2 this force which is 1 over 2 into 6 multiplied by 6 and perpendicular distance is 4 that is producing counterclockwise so it will be also positive and third one is r a into perpendicular distance is 6 6 so that is minus 18 into 6 this must be equal to 0 okay so md plus this is 36 into 4 divided by 2 and this is 6 8 48 on 108 is equal to 0 so md plus Two 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 ones are two two twos are four, so seventy two minus one zero eight is equal to zero. So from here you will get MD is equal to thirty six kip into feet. So this was internal loading at point D, which is ND is equal to zero, VD is equal to zero, and MD is thirty six kips into feet and that was all about problem 1-20 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching